What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the two new companions coming to the Elder Scrolls Online in Update 44. We're going to get uh, Tandlerin and Zareth. Tandlerin is going to be a high elf who mixes soul magic and dragon knight abilities. While the Khajiit Zareth is going to utilize the power of necromancing. Uh, at the launch of the Update 44, you can acquire both of these new allies for free with an active ESO Plus membership or purchase with crowns from the in-game crown store. Once you acquire them, you can find and recruit them within the zones of Ordon and Reaper's March. Like previous campaigns, each will have their own introductory quests that will need to be completed before you can summon them. In addition to being unique new characters with their own stories, personalities, and quest lines, these two new companions each also provide a special passive perk when adventuring with them. Uh, Tandlerin grants the a finesse kind of uh, perk, which is going to provide an increase to the time it takes to pick a lock and increase the chance of forcing a lock and reduce the chance to break a lock pick. Uh, Zareth, of course, is going to give you the option to highlight and find valuable bags of loot throughout Tamriel. This is why these perks are active when adventuring with these companions in the qu uh, in question. They can be permanently unlocked by completing each ally's unique achievement. So those two perks sound like they're going to be pretty good. Of course, we knew that we're going to get two new companions here at the pretty much end of the year uh, of 2024. But I know a lot of people out there use companions. Some do not. I've had conversations and videos about this on the channel before. It seems like People either like them or they don't. You know, this, you have the group of players out there that play solo or maybe just one other person and they use companions a lot. Then you have the, the people out there, you know, that play a lot of dungeons and, and trials and things like that. Don't really have, you know, the use for companions. But overall, I think they are enjoyable. I use them a good bit when I'm playing by myself, of course. But um, I would do say I think that there needs to be something done at some point about how you have to go with each and every character that you have to unlock these companions. I wish once you, you know, unlock the companions and did the quest for them, you know, they were unlocked automatically on every character that you have, you know, in the game. Cause it's kind of a pain to go out and, you know, unlock each and every companion with, you know, every character that you have, especially if you're like me and you have the max amount of characters you can have in the Elder Scrolls online. Anyway, leave me a comment, your thoughts. Let me know what you think about these two new companions. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.